Ahoy, this is Denka. iOS 17 will be launched this September. There are very many cool features when it comes to photography and video. Native Camera app has some very helpful updates as well. Shall we? Let's start with Native Camera app and Camera settings. Let's go to Phone settings and select Camera. What you will see is that Preserve settings have been moved up to the second place right after Formats. Let's scroll down to the Composition section. Here is a new feature you can enable called Level. What's that? I am in Native Camera app. Notice the white line in the middle. If I move it, it will lead me to having a perfect horizon. This works both in horizontal and vertical position when you take photos and video. By the way, if you want to learn how to use a camera app inside out, I have a tutorial on that, so I'm going to link it below in the video description for those interested. And if you are into photography and video and want to see more tutorials, consider subscribing. Let's go to record video settings. Let's scroll down until you see lock white balance. This is a very welcome to new feature. If you enable this, it will lock white balance while recording resulting in much nicer video, not changing colors as you point from one area to next. To get a nice crispy video, enable this, lock exposure and focus, and voila, you'll get a visually very pleasing result. Let's go to another camera settings section, which is preserve settings. What has been added is depth control. What it means is that it will preserve the depth setting for photo, portrait, and cinematic mode rather than automatically reset every single time you open a native camera app. Let's say I'm going to select f4.5 and I will film something. Meanwhile, somebody will call me or I'm going to make a phone call. Once I'm finished, I will go back to camera app again, open it up, and I don't have to change anything. The f4.5 will be already there. Let's talk about ProRes. In the previous iOS version, you would only see ProRes word here. Now you can see if you have ProRes HDR or ProRes SDR selected. What you see there will depend on what you select in your settings. Let's go to camera settings for the last time. If you enable ProRes in settings and HDR, then you will see the option ProRes HDR in your camera app. If you disable HDR in the settings, it will show as ProRes SDR in your camera app. What is the difference between HDR and SDR? HDR offers a wider range of colors and brightness levels, so you will get a more vivid and lifelike picture. It will also show more details in bright and dark areas and provide a more dynamic range of color. Let's talk about photo editing. There is a new feature which makes cropping photos way faster. All you need to do is choose your desired photo and zoom in until you like what you see and look at what pops up at the right top corner. Let's hit the crop and you are done. If you go to edit, you will also see actual names of those icons. Before, you could only see icons, so many people didn't know what those icons were. Now you can read a name, so it is more clear what it is. There are two things edit in the photo album. First of all, it is supposed to be now easier to look up photos of people and pets. I'm going to select our Casper here and now you can see all the photos of him. You can also name the person, add this person to favorites or feature this person less or remove this person from people and pets. Another feature which I really love is the lookup feature. If you take a photo of an object, food or landmark, for example, you are going to see this icon at the bottom. If you hit the icon, it will show you more details. Here, for example, it will give me an address on Google Maps and similar images. If I select, for example, our dog's photo, it will give me all information about this breed. Very cool. We all noticed that a while ago, Apple added this cutout image feature. Well, now you can tap select the cutout, it will remove the background and save it as a sticker. That's not everything though. If you open up messages and tap on the sticker icon, at the top go to the second icon. Now you will see plus available. Select the live image and wait a couple of seconds. It will automatically remove the background. Tap add and now you have a live sticker. You can create a whole bunch of expressions. If you tap and hold the sticker, you can select Add Effect, and there are a few different ones to choose from. I like the shiny sticker, 
which reacts based on how you're holding your phone. All these stickers can be used in third-party apps like WhatsApp. Let's go to settings where you can find a new feature called standby. Now, once you start charging your phone and place it to the side, standby mode will turn on and now you will get this clock with a calendar. If you swipe down, you can change the look of the clock or select the date. You can also swipe the right side to select the widget you prefer. If you tap and hold, you can add new widgets or delete them. You can also enable the suggested widget. If you swipe right, you can view featured galleries of your photos. And if you swipe further right, you can change the look of the screen. I'm going to go back to galleries. Here, you can select the gallery you prefer. If you tap and hold, you can add more galleries if you like. I love this feature so much that I wish it was also available not only while charging the phone. Another big update when it comes to photos are interactive widgets. Until now, you could not select an album you wanted to display, but now you finally can. All you have to do is add an album and select one with no photos available. Add a widget, tap and hold, select Add a widget, go to album, and here you can select any gallery you have created. Let's check out the lock screen and how you can customize it with your photos. Now this feature I absolutely love. Tap and hold to pull out collections. Select the second one, add a new, and here you can choose new wallpaper. Photos, people, photo shuffle, emoji, weather, astronomy, and color. If you go to suggested photos, you can change the background of the cutout photo. You can resize a photo. If you go to photos at the top and select live photo, make sure the live mode is enabled. Once you grab the phone, you will get this nice slow motion movement and once you unlock your phone, the photo will be blurred out in the background. Very cool. This new feature will be most likely the most popular one when it comes to photos. It's a custom call profile. When you call someone, your custom contact profile will show up on their phone. How do you set it up? Go to call, select contacts, select my cart, hit contact photo and poster and here under edit you can create a new look to your cart. You can create new photos by taking a photo of yourself, choosing one of your photos, memoji or monogram. When you go to photos and choose one, you can again change the background to any color, resize the photo and all that. There are so many options. You can also change the font of your name and thickness of the font. The same thing goes with contacts of other people you have saved. You can create custom cards of your contacts, so when they call you, you will see their photo displayed on the phone. Let's talk about the sound. Sound is part of the video, so I will absolutely include it here. New feature is called AI Voice Clone. Your iPhone can now clone your voice, which is crazy, but how does it work? And how good is it? Let's check this out. Let's go into the accessibility settings and scroll down to personal voice. Hit create your personal voice and follow directions. Once you name your voice, it will make you read all these different words. It will show you pronunciation and you can also redo any takes if you make a mistakes. Creating a personal voice with my iPhone. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once you are done, the AI will start training, which will take quite a long time, from day to a few days. This will be happening when you will be charging your phone. When it's done, go to live speech settings, make sure it is on. In the voice section, select your personal voice you created. Then tap the side button three times to open this up, type out whatever you want and play. This is the sound I'm getting with my voice. Today is not a good day. No sun, just lots of rain. Not bad. It is still far from perfect, but it's still cool. Well, hit the thumbs up if you found this interesting and don't forget to subscribe for more. Let me know what do you think about all of this. Leave a comment below and what is your favorite feature. And perhaps check out one of these videos next. Ciao. Ahoy.